Hello, Adores, and welcome to our point of sale tutorial. In today's fast paced business world, providing reliable and secure payment options is crucial for customer satisfaction. That's where payment terminals come in. By accepting card payments quickly and reliably, we can reduce queues, minimize errors associated with manual cash handling, and ultimately offer a more professional and convenient experience for our customers. Today, we'll show you how we can integrate a Viva payment terminal into our Odoo point of sale. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, we will need to enable our payment terminal in our settings. So let's head into point of sale. We'll go into configuration and settings. Now, let me just search for terminals right here, and we will enable Viva Wallet from the list of possible terminals here. And let's save that. Perfect. Once that is done, we can head into configuration again, and this time choose payment methods from the dropdown. Now, this brings us to the list of our existing payment methods. And to create our Viva terminal, we'll just go ahead and click on the new button right here. Let's call it Viva. And we can move on with a configuration of this payment methods. So we will first up click on the journal field right here, and we will just select bank from the dropdown. Next up, we uh, also have the integration fields. So we will choose terminal in this case. And for integrate with, very simple, we will just click Viva Wallet. Next up, uh, we are going to need to enter our Viva Wallet credentials. So all of this information can be retrieved from the Viva portal. We already prepared ours on the site, so we're just going to go ahead and paste it. So let me just go ahead with that. And the last field that we uh, need to do something for is this one here, the test mode. So this is a box that we can tick if, uh, tick if we're still setting things up and we want to run some test transactions without real charges. And since this is exactly what we want to do, we're going to tick it. But of course, if you're doing this on your side, remember to untick it before you actually go ahead and start charging your customers. Great. Now, I also saved this field real quick. Um, and once that was done, another field immediately popped up right here for the Viva Wallet endpoint integration. So um, we will need to copy and paste this into our Viva account. And this will enable the instant notifications for all supported events. So this will be very useful uh, also for asynchronous activities like customer fund trans transfers. So now that it's copied, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and switch into my Viva Wallet account. Uh, sorry, my Viva account. And I will just go into webhooks right here. I don't have any created at the moment, so I will just click on create. I will paste my URL that I have just copied. And let's also just verify it right away. Done. We'll also make sure that it's active. And here from the event types, I will scroll down through this long, long list and I will choose a transaction payment created. So let's just go ahead and save that. Done. Perfect. Let's go back to uh, our Odoo um, configuration panel. So now that all of this is done, there's just one more thing to go before we test out our payment. We'll go back into configuration and settings and make sure that the Viva terminal that we've created is linked to our point of sale. So here I am in uh, the Bon Appetit point of sale. Let me just scroll down. And you see here in payment methods, I have my card and my cash. And I will also add Viva as my payment method. And save. Perfect. So that is all set for configuration. And now we can go ahead and use this with our audio point of sale. So let's go into our dashboard. Let's go into Bon Appetit. Perfect. Pick a table. And let's place an order for some of our lovely items. Done. And now that that's done, we can hit payment. We have our new payment method of Viva right here. That's done. And since I have a handy terminal on hand, I will just go ahead and use my card to process the payment. That is done. And 
My receipt for the customer, which we configured in one of our previous uh, tutorials, is also printed out. So that's it. You can go ahead and play with configuring uh, this and other payment methods in your point of sale. I hope this was useful for you, and I'm looking for forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.